Growing up in Bucks County, I remember experiencing the canal at a young age, crossing back and forth over one of its many bridges and wondering what that strange ditch was for. As a child, I recall asking my mother what it was. The answer I received was a simple one. It was for boats. This explanation only created more questions, however. Why would you go to the trouble of building a canal for boats immediately next to a river? When was it built? How could boats fit down this narrow channel? If it was for boats, where was all the water? As a graduate student, I was able to explore these questions that have remained with me since childhood. So come, take a walk, explore, and we'll try to understand what the canal looked like when it was built nearly 200 years ago. But to get a better picture, we'll need to go back a bit further. One of the earliest settled areas of Bucks County, Bristol, lies at its southern edge, along the banks of the Delaware. It was established on the west bank of the river between nearby Philadelphia and the Colony of New Jersey as a market town at the ferry against Burlington, with a weekly market and the privilege of wharfing and building to a convenient distance into the river and creek. Following petition to the provincial council, Bristol was incorporated as a borough in 1720. However, it's not until October of 1827 that it became known as the terminus point for one of the last surviving examples of canal infrastructure in the U.S. The area where you were standing was once Bristol Basin, a man-made body of water where canal boats were stored when not in use. Work began to fill in the basin following its transfer from the Lehigh Coal and Navigation Company to the state in 1931. The traces remain if you know where to look. The blue pylons ahead marked the approximate location of the tide lock, which connected the canal to the Delaware, as well as the basin's edge. The path at your feet follows the course of the canal as it existed nearly two centuries ago. Join me as we attempt to rediscover this lost piece of history that defined the growth of a community.